Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and we're going to take a look at the UI of the Samsung Galaxy S5. It's revamped, it's a new version of TouchWiz. They haven't given it a name or number, but it's new. So the Galaxy S5 has a lot of features that is basically intertwined hardware as well as uh, software. And first of all, just to look at the UI itself, you can see clearly that this thing is much faster with a better processor and also better performance. Running, running Android 4.4. Now the cool thing is that you do also have that magazine UI, which was kind of like a, a bitch, hitting the home button to bring up, but all you have to do is slide to the left-hand side, and that sets up the magazine. It's not set up here, but you can actually bring it up, and then you can slide back. So the same thing you had like in the Nexus 5 with the Google Now experience, you have it with the magazine here. So it doesn't really take over what you're actually doing on your device altogether. So a couple other things also to note is that, you know, this, this has um, a heart rate sensor built into it. So it's actually here behind the device. And if I put my finger on it right now, nothing really happens. So what you need to do is, of course, go to S, I'm gonna go back there again. Just go to, go to your S Help application, go to the pedometer and go to the heart rate sensor. Now, basically, you need to put your finger up there, and it should blink. So if I do this, and then don't move, don't talk. It should be taking my heart rate. Still there. Still calculating. It's measuring. I'm cold-hearted, that's why. It takes a while. So, so I didn't do it right. So I have to check the position of my finger to make sure to do that. Okay, it's reading something. All right. So it seems again. So basically, I do have to cover that. So you guys have seen this firsthand, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to cut this or anything for you. So you get an idea how this will work. You might want to actually pick out this guy instead, uh, the gear fit, instead of doing this. I shouldn't move, so that's probably why I'm shaking too much. Oh, well, we get the idea with that. So it's not really functioning as well, but um, you can check your heart rate. now. A couple other things here is that, sorry, I keep bringing that up there. A couple of things here is that when you actually go into the settings, if you actually bring out your notification bar, you can see how it looks different. Everything looks different. It's a little bit more polished, more of a flat design. You can see the top layer here, and also even your uh, drop down menu for the notifications. You can have S Finder built in. Now, since Samsung made that deal with Google, Google now pretty much here is on the uh, home button and you've got your Quick uh, Connect. Now, Quick Connect allows you to go to connect to your TVs through, you know, Miracast, Miracast or wireless uh, connection. So it shows you the different connections you have, different TVs and things like that. That's nice because you also have that built-in IR blaster in there to actually use your device as well. So we'll close that down and we'll go into our main settings and so. Now, looking at the settings as a whole, you can see this thing looks different. It's a little weird. I'll tell you that because I, I, it took me a while to understand it, but it's broken down as you see here in in your settings, if you scroll back to the top, you've got your quick settings, which allow you to look at things like Wi-Fi, download booster, which should help you boost your download speeds uh, on LTE, uh, um, as well as Wi-Fi altogether. Now, um, you also have your Bluetooth. Now, the thing about download booster, you do also have um, uh, a dual band uh, AC MIMO antennas, so basically you should have better Wi-Fi connectivity and Wi-Fi connection, because you have your display, data usage, lock screen, uh, notification panel, and then of course we have the fingerprint sensor uh, scanner. Now this allows you to do a couple of things. Now, you know the iPhone has a fingerprint scanner, you can actually scan fingerprints, but with this, you can actually set that up with whatever finger you use, but also you can make payments using PayPal. So PayPal is partnered with Samsung to do that. So if I were to set it up, which I won't, because then they would never be able to use this device, is I can literally just swipe down and of course access and open up my, uh, my payments on PayPal and use. So that's, that's good, at least Samsung actually gave an added uh, benefit to using a fingerprint sensor other than just unlocking devices and sending uh, log passwords. So you do have power, power saving mode. Now this now brings up the ultra power saving mode. I have to warn you, it's going to take a second, or, or, I'm sorry, it's going to take close to about 30 seconds to set up. But what this does is basically allow you, if you're running really low, so you have about 10% battery life left, and you hit and you set up power saving mode, it will give you up to a day, basically 24 hours to use, basically for basic phone calls and things like that. So you do have the general idea. And even the battery itself, 
the 2800 milliamp battery with it with power save with with just regular power saving on should give you about 17 hours extra here. so if i have to do that but i'm actually going to show you um power saving mode here and i'm going to turn it on and it, sh it should turn to a different layout altogether now you saw our, our general ui in at the beginning, which had that nice touch wrist flow. This has this very simplistic black and white, um, the lowest settings you can get on your device display wise to give you something that's very clean and also something that would last you. So you're taking that road trip, you're going from you know Cali to Boston, and then you, f you lost a battery somewhere, your car broke down, something might happen. You have this interface that gives you at least enough juice. So you see 83%, a day, a day, 1.1 days left. So you do have enough juice to go on the road which is pretty nice to actually have that there. It's pretty easy to, to basically take it off. All you do is hit disable power settings and hit OK, and you're good. So that is, that, that, that is a nice feature added on there, especially tied in with the, um, you know, the 2800 milliamp battery. That should give you enough juice. Now this, my only downside here, of course, is it just takes a little bit of time to switch back over. Uh, hopefully that, of course, is something that is not part of the final build um, of, of the OS. Now a couple other things here too, is that even the basic Samsung applications, like your messaging, for instance, has changed. So you do have like um, a favorite section of your messenger, so you can actually have people who are favorite and you can see the look of the messenger has changed also. Um, if you go into a message here, you can see this general UI display of it. Uh, and even the keyboard too has even a revised refresh look. Same thing also as we hit home here. Same thing also with the dial itself. So the dial it's a little bit more of a flatter design, a little fleshed out. You can go into contacts, you can see. It still it looks similar to what you have, but it's brighter color and also just a flatter design overall with the UI here. Now I mentioned this is running Android 4.42. So we scroll through, you can see everything is almost broken out to sections. So you've got personalization here, which still has fingerprint sensor also again, scanner too. So it's broken out into sections that you would use. So for instance, you have applications here in this section. And then this section you have system, which of course we can go in and do power saving mode or check the device, which is running Android 4.4.2. There we go. So you have KitKat running in there, just to show you guys on there. So um, the other thing I do want to mention is also the camera. Now, the camera here is a 60 megapixel camera. They've done some things to change the UI of the camera here. So you do have your instant settings. You can go in and change your um, size, which is of course a 60 megapixel uh, sensor. You can also record in UHD, which is um, basically ultra high definition, which is nice. Now this of course doesn't have a 4K display, just letting people know. You have all these other different modes like burst mode, picture, and then you do have your standard mode settings here, which you can cycle through, beauty shot, things like that um, for the basic user. You have of course, your, you can reverse the camera if you want to. Just wanted to show you that we're here. So we're right here. And uh, you can also, I mean, it's still the basic camera setup, but it's added a few things there for you, which when we get the device, we give you a full tour. But I just wanted to show you how it looked like, how the setup was. And also you've got the auto uh, night settings, or you can say low light settings. So basically, you can see because my, my hand is covering the, the lens, it thinks it's a darker environment. So basically it's switched to um, uh, night mode, if you will, which will take you better pictures in low light and things like that. Now Samsung's added a lot of things to this. Um, there's no um, OIS built in, but they did say they've added a couple of features uh, with the technology and the lens that should help you get better photos overall. Um, this is just giving you guys just a look at what you have here in the UI. A couple other things I, I forgot to mention, Samsung GIFs, which kind of threw me by surprise, but I'm going to show you. But basically, these are applications that you use. Sorry, we lost focus there. Yeah, there we go. So these applications are used and you get rewarded with it. We're not exactly sure how because we haven't spent time with it. But basically, things like PayPal are on there, Evernote. Um, you also have Bitcast and things like that. So the applications that you can go to, you can pick start from the Samsung store that you get gifts and I guess coupons and things from. So basically Samsung's trying to encourage you to use more of the applications um, from, uh, from the ecosystem here. And uh, I believe that is pretty much it. This, uh, you know, this is the um, tra um, sorry, about the app tray layout. You do have two different applications for the Galaxy Gear and the Galaxy Gear Fit. So this is the standard gear manager, which we are not connected to gear right now. But this is the Gear Fit, which we should be connected to one here. 
and um, it's paired with a gear fit. Let's let's try and pair our gear fit here. See if we can do that. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's a little more rounded. And Okay, so it's connected to our gear here. And just wanted to show you how the application looks like in the back. So you can see you do have your clock manager, wallpaper, it's tied into S Health again, your notifications, so you can go in and customize the notifications you're getting. Uh, you can limit notifications, smart relay preview, um, keep screen off, incoming calls, schedule, messages, so on and so forth. So you do have a weather. This is this is limited in terms of what you can get uh, as notifications. And we can select more, and let's see, head back. I think you can probably, oh. Oh, there we go, yes. So I was looking for, so you actually can expand the notifications you get, just like the Galaxy Gear, so I apologize for that. So you can get a whole array of notifications, but um, that's pretty much it, guys. I know I've rambled for a while here, but I wanted to show you the software side of the Galaxy S5. Um, this is running TouchWiz, Android 4.42. It's got a, a couple of cool layers, heart rate monitor, um, ultra power saving mode, new camera applications and things like that. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, um, thank you very much. Like this video, share this video, favorite this video, hit the subscribe button on the top right hand corner. And uh, this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.